Blue Lock is an anime manga that shows the story of Japan trying to produce the world's best striker out of 300 strikers, but only one can survive, and the other 299 will suffer the consequences of getting their careers taken. However, what if this was a scam and Ego set up these kids in various games for his entertainment? Hello everyone, it's Suki, and today we are going to be discussing which of the 35 Blue Lockers remaining in Blue Lock Season 2 would have what it takes to survive Squid Game. And to help me analyze this, I caught upon someone not really known to the community, but has recently gotten into Blue Lock herself. I'm gonna pass the mic over to her. Hi everyone! My name is Sahara, but I also go by Sai or Saihara on YouTube and TikTok. I talk about a variety of things, from my nutrition degree to anime and manga. Blue Lock is one of my favorite mangas, and I'm so excited to be collaborating on this video. By the way, my favorite characters are Mikage Reo, Seishido Nagi and Ren Itoshi. Now we have to go through the following list of the 35 blue lockers who are going to be competing for a bag. Isagi, Ren, Shido, Karasu, Otoya, Yukimiya, Nagi, Kiora, Nanase, Bachua, Ishikari, Aryu, Igaguri, Kurona, Haiji, Nishioka, Yori, Tokimitsu, Baro, Yuzu, Saramadawa, Raichi, Shiguma, Niko, Chiguri, Sakura, Hiragi, Akira, Shingen, Santetsu, Taiga, Gagamaru, Junichi, Aiki Himizu, Saihiro's favorite character, Reo Mikage. And I personally added this one because I love him so much and it is the last day of his month, Saitoshi. Now of the characters here, let's introduce the roles. There will be no visions in this since this is not a soccer field and all the eye abilities relate to soccer and not real life crisis, except for one blue lock ability. But I don't really want to spoil for any anime onlys. Another critical thing is that this is happening in place of blue lock, so some friendships won't be the same. Like like Bachu and Isagi don't become friends, Chigui and Kunigami, however Reo and Nagi were friends before that so they pass. If this video gets over 30 likes I'll make a video about what if this was happening after the U20 Japan match where I add IQ and the other U20 members and so on and so forth. First of all, red light, green light. You move when it's green, you stop when it's red. Any sort of movement when it's red and you get kunigami By the way, you have to make it past the finish line before time runs out. People who would easily survive is Isagi, Rin, Karasu, Yukimiya, Kiora, Nanase, Aryu, Kurona, Hiyori, Baro, Yuzu, Saramadara, Raichi, Shiguma, Niko, Chigui, Hiragi, Akira, Suzaki, Gagamaro, Junichi, Himizu, and Reo. All these guys seem level-headed enough to listen to the rules very easily and pass through the finish line. Baro is like Bakugo from My Hero Academia. He acts like a total jerk but is very clean and would follow the rules when needed to. Now people who easily die. First is Ryusei Shido. Unlike Bao, he never follows the rules and acts on his own. So, next is Ayoshi Tokimitsu. He would follow the rules but I wouldn't be surprised if he jumped in fear at the sound of a gunshot being Shido. Then Santetsu Sugri. He is really stupid and unless someone takes the time to explain things to him and help him out he is gonna get messed up so badly his stupidity would lead to him getting some damage. Now that the easy ones are done, time for the not so easy ones. Megu Bachua. Though he is very expressive and energetic like Shido, he does know when to follow the rules as he kicked Ikiguri as he knew Ego only said that hands run a lot and not feet itself, so he passes. Ikiguri would follow someone who seems smart so he would survive. Nishioka could realistically get Kunigami but based off of the fact that he's based off of Messi, I would, I think he would survive since Messi is not dumb. Otoya seems childish as well but I believe he knows when to follow the rules so he would survive. Saitoshi seems like a menace to adults and wouldn't listen but that's not true as he paid deep attention to the blue lock interview from Anui and spends a lot of time on data analysis so I believe he is very patient and not dumb as we viewed him to be. So especially with his life on the line he would pay attention. Likewise Win would survive too. Lastly Seishiro Nagi. Honestly if it wasn't for Rayo he would have died here but Rayo would carry Nagi on his back to literally finish the game. Now I'm gonna send things over to Sai to give the honey. All right, with 33 contestants left in the games, things are only going to get harder. So let me explain the rules. Honeycomb requires calm and steady hands and patience because too much shaking or pressure would make the cookie break. So the contestants must be careful. Easy characters who would survive include Isagi because his favorite non-PE subject is art. Rin likes calligraphy, which requires a very steady hand and he probably stole that from his brother, so they both survive. Reo is very smart and patient, so he also would survive, and he would probably also do Nagi's cooking for him, and we're not really sure if that's allowed, but it's pretty funny. Igagudi worked in a monk temple, so he has to be artistic and patient. Kadasu, Yukimiya, 
are you, Kurona, Haiji, Nishikoya, Hiyori, Yuzu, Saramadara, Shiguma, Niko, Chigiri, Sokura, Hiragi, Sunzaki, Hiyora, Junichi, and Himizu would all easily survive due to their natural talents outside of football. Let's start with Raichi, because he will most likely lose first. He screams a lot, as we have seen throughout the anime and manga, and he can get triggered pretty easily, so that means he would most likely break the cookie without noticing. Now for the hard ones. Baro can get annoyed like Raichi, but I don't really see that happening a lot of the time, because he is very clean and a neat freak, as we saw when he took a lot of time to organize his room with Isagi and Nagi. So it shows that he has a lot of patience outside of football. As long as someone doesn't provoke him, he should be fine. Oitaya is a tough one, but due to his love of ninjas, I'm pretty sure he's tried to carve an apple with a ninja tool. So that precision has me believe that he will live. Gagamaro has literally fought a bear and lived in the wilderness, so I feel like this should be the least of his problem. He would probably be one of the last to figure out the cookie trick by licking it, as he is a wild outcast of the remaining contestants left. Now we have 32 contestants. I will hand the mic back to Suki to handle game three. Game number three. Technically not a game, but I'm gonna call it it. Midnight Brawl. Basically, you gotta survive a rumble of fights until time is up. Being strong but humble is key. And also, surviving this will require teamwork. If you're weak and shy with no friends, you're likely to die. Or if you're strong and arrogant, you can be an easy target. Lastly, do your best to stay awake. <clears throat> Nagi Seishiro. Let's switch things up with people who die easily. First up is Ishikari. He is tall and looks down on paper, literally. So there's a high chance he will spark a war he ain't ready for. Next is Igogui. He is weak and can fall asleep pretty easily as shown in Blue Lock additional time. Next is going to make Arrow very happy as we're going to have Karasu getting eliminated. He is very disrespectful especially towards people who are better than him like Saitoshi, Karasu. He'll always be saying curse words for no reason bro. So yeah I believe he's going to get the smoke handed to him personally. I could see him teaming up with Hiyori but Hiyori would not be able to help Karasu survive the whole thing and Karasu being the senpai he is would tell Hiyori to leave him to die so that would lead to his death. Next is Hiyori. Karasu was his first real friend. He's not gonna let Karasu die alone so Hiyori's gonna go join him in the body bag. Next is Jin Kyura. He is 5'2". Bro's gonna get targeted for being short. Next is Yuzu. He is short and he's getting packed too. Shiguma doesn't talk to strangers so I can see him getting packed for working alone. And Tanaka dying because he is gross and no one really likes him. People who would survive easily are Sai Itoshi as he would obviously work with Rin and just look at Sai Itoshi's pack of abs. That earns glaze points from me to put him and Rin through the next round. Batro will throw hands with anyone remaining here 9 times out of 10 so he survived easily and can also work together with some people so it would be a two on how many reverse jumping but yeah he would survive although yukimiya is a pacifist he seems compliant enough to work with others as he had no problem working with nagi in the third selection or sacrificing himself to sleep with rin next the trio of nanase akira and taiga although this team just met in blue lock I feel like even in Squid Game, these three would get along as they share similar traits of being polite, noble people, so they would survive. Hiragi and Nico would both use their brains to get themselves out of this situation and build defense systems for themselves. Imizu seems like a snake manipulator who would manipulate people to help him out, so yeah. Chigiri, Kurona, and Aryu would survive because Aryu's height would allow for them to have a good fight. He would team up with Chigiri and Kurona because of their glam hair. Oh yeah, and Isagi survived so that 50% of my viewers don't leave the video because their goat died. Speaking about my viewers, if you are are enjoying the blue lock content i put out i recommend leaving a like to help with the algorithm and subscribing for more blue lock content as i will be reacting to every episode of season two now let's react to the rest of this midnight brawl chaos real surviving depends on his manipulation skills and i believe he will use this on barrel as he is very good at using his words to so he will glaze barrel into working with him and nagi even if nagi falls asleep real will have barrel and some other people to team up with him so they would protect him Nagi is really doing the Luigi does nothing challenge, isn't he? And lastly, Otoya, as he could have two personas. This wants the smoke persona or his ninja persona. But since this isn't soccer, I'm going to give him the wants the smoke persona. Which means he would try to attack people from behind, trying to get some back shots in. But nope, 
he's gonna get clapped sooner or later and he's gone so Armada is chilling here Gagamore can throw hands so he should survive this Sakura is gonna get killed because he sounds like Sakura so yeah later Sakura well damn we are down to 20 people if I did the math correct now time to live the next stage for Sai unlike the actual squid game we are not going to assign people to certain teams, but instead evaluate them on their peer strength and cooperation with others. People who will survive easily through cooperation is Isagi, Nagi, and Ryo, Yukimiya, Nanase, Taiga, Akira, Himizu, Bachida, Aryu, Nishigoya, oh wow, I forgot you were here, Niko, Shigiri, and Higari also survived this stage as well. Rin, Baru, and Sei could survive through sheer strength and peasants backing them up. People who will die easily in this round include Haiji and Junichi because they seem like characters who would not get along with the rest of the bunch. Time to pass the mic over to Suki for game 5. The marble game, the most emotional game of the series for me. The first person dying is Nike. He has no motivation for life, so he would beg for Rail to just win and carry on his dream to win the World Cup and say thank you for being the one person in his life that wasn't a pain. Bro, that's gonna send my viewer interest straight to hell with the Nike fans, but the next one is gonna be the cake on top. The Nike does nothing challenge has officially come to an end. And to send my viewers ship straight to hell in this video, Yorichi Isagi is a very terrible manipulator and without Ego's guidance, this guy is gonna be a soft bread stick to break. So Pharaoh, Yorichi Isagi, you're getting Kunigami as well. Sorry buddy, but Corona, Nanase, Akira, and Sunzaki are all normal people who have no manipulation feats, so you all die here as well. Sadly, Batra is joining them. I could see him getting manipulated by a smarter opponent. Although he is smart himself, he is not smart enough to even manipulate Isagi. So going against Rayo or Sai would just be even worse of a feat. Speaking of my goat, I just can't say it, so Saihira, you have to. So, since Suki doesn't have the balls to announce his death, Seiyitoshi will not survive. This isn't soccer, so he wouldn't hesitate to give up his life like he gave up their dreams so Ren could survive and become the world's greatest striker. Back to Suki. Last person who easily dies is the other redhead, Chigri. He has no motivation when entering Blue Lock because his soccer career is in grave danger of being over, so I can see him offering his life to save another. So people who survive is Rail and Ren, thanks to Nagi and Sai, Bao thanks to Hall of Fame Intimidation, Himizu would be the best player in this game as I can see him seeing through lies easily with his snake manipulation mode, bro's gonna be seen through all your lies as if he's a damn lie detector, so he's gonna go through. We're gonna have Yukimiya going through as he can always calmly assist the situation and I feel like Aryu would get lucky to survive, Hiragi would survive based on his manipulation methods similar to Nico. Nishioka will get that Leonor Pessy lock and survive. Now back to Sai. Now with 9 people left in the game, let's see how well they do in the glass stepping stones challenge. The first person dying is Baro, as I believe him being king and the number one mentality he has is the strongest in all the Blue Luck franchise. So this would make him want to go first and die. Next to die is Rin because he is second in line and he will try to go and deal with the challenge. Unfortunately, he would fall and waste his brother's sacrifice. Nico would go next and die. Nishigoya would also die because Himizu would push him down to his death only to die right after. Aryu sadly falls here too in glam fashion. Yukimiya, due to wearing glasses, would actually have a good chance of surviving since he might understand the type of glass. But it's just like the show itself, they would dim the lighting, making the blind man go bye bye. How unfortunate. Threo and Higari, taking advantage of the chaos to survive, our final two contestants are Rayo and Higari. So I'll pass the mic over to Suki for the final game. The final game, Squid Game. The final two opponents go head to head with one as a defender, which I'm choosing Hiragi for, and Rail being the attacker. The attacker would do everything in their power to reach the top of the head, but this is Squid Game, they're just gonna kill each other, so it's gonna be a traditional battle to the death. With Rail losing his best friend and having a stronger ego to become the world's number one striker and to prove himself to his dad, his stronger resolve and anger towards losing would allow him to grave his only treasure that he ever found, Nagi and avenge his death. He would pummel, 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 and kill Hiragi to become the winner of the Squid Game. And I'll let 
Sai give her thoughts on her favorite character winning. Yes, Rayo is my favorite character in all of Blue Lock. He's just, I don't know, he's just great. Everything about him is great. Love his compatibility with Nagi. And I mean, he's a little rich. Sometimes he can have a little bit of an ego, but ego goes a long way, especially in Blue Lock. You have to be an egoist. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for this opportunity. My TikTok and YouTube are in the background of my backdrop and see you guys soon. Bye. I hope you all enjoyed this fun Halloween crossover between Blue Lock and Squid Game to end Saitober. Have a good day or night. Suki out.